Hey everybody, Ben here from the Bonehead Podcast and welcome to Snotling Starting Rosters. So we are talking about League, we're talking 1 million build and we're talking Snotlings for Blood Bowl 2020. If you want more information on the Snotling roster or how they work in Blood Bowl 16, then keep an eye out for episode 50 of our podcast, the Bonehead Podcast, which should be coming out on Saturday the 5th of September. Uh, so give that a listen if you want to know about the players and some skill builds and what's really good for them. What we're doing here is we're looking at what you can get for a million in a league. So let's have a look at some of the Snotling rosters. The first one we're going to start looking at is the two pump wagon build. So the key thing with snotlings is that all of the snotlings themselves are disposable. They or they have in Blood Bowl 2020, they have uh, the cheap lineman ability, which means that you buy them, but you get that amount in petty cash for every match. So they don't basically they don't work towards the team value. So nine snotlings is uh, nine times 15k you get that back every single game. So let's have a look at the roster. So for the two pump wagons, you've got two pump wagons, two trolls, one flinger, which is the bombardier, one hopper, which is the guy bouncing around on uh, on a space hopper, basically, and one stilty. So you've got three positionals, you've got two big guys with the trolls, you've got two pump wagons who are secret weapon. You get nine snotlings and three rerolls. So that gives you a roster that, that you, you end up with 310 petty cash. So that puts you, I think, at 690, and then with nine snotlings, that's 825. It gives you 16 players, and usually 260 to 310,000 petty cash. Now, you were thinking, why is it not automatically 310? A lot of these rosters, as you're probably seeing from the videos, end up at 965, basically. 965, 975, 980, um, and unless your opponent maximizes their costs with dedicated fans you're going to end up with slightly less petty cash than you kind of think so what we're going to do is we're going to have a look at what you can get for that petty cash and we're going to set that bar low because the snotling team where you've got a load of secret weapons in the pump wagons and the flingers and the fact that the snotlings themselves don't count towards your team value you get extra cash for that and they have access to the riotous rookies um, inducement for 100k which gives you 2d3 plus one extra snotlings for your team and these guys have got swarming which means that when you deploy them at the beginning of drive you roll a d3 and you can move that many snotlings out of your reserves onto the pitch as well so you want to maximize the amount of snotlings you've got so that you can flood the board and keep farming them out so this roster here gives you 16 then you get basically between three and seven more snotlings on top of that so with 310 petty cash you can take three bribes and riotous rookies that comes to 250 which means that if your opponent takes a roster that is 955 to start with um, you are absolutely able to get this if they've got a bigger roster well then it opens up the kind of uh, the other things you can pick up you can pick up a keg uh, you can pick up an extra reroll. Uh, they have got quite a few star players as well um, so there's loads that you can take for snotlings roster number two is the four reroll build so these guys have no block skills they have no ball carrying skills at all the only skills they have are the ability to die in hordes and foul in hordes so this roster you've got two pump wagons two trolls two flingers two hoppers two stilties and six snotlings for a total of 16 players again you only get 180k in petty cash and with that money you want to be taking one bribe and riotous rookies so riotous rookies is going to get you up to 20 or so players um, but if you look at the roster two pump wagons and two flingers with one bribe you're going to struggle so what you have to do is use a one pump wagon at a time or if you really need to you can chuck it on but you're only going to be able to bring one back with the flingers deploy one at a time and actually you've got enough players so that you won't suffer that i have to deploy all of my secret weapons therefore i'm going to lose them all you've got four secret weapons in a team of about 20 players probably uh, with riotous rookies does a little bit better than worth the worst case scenario um, you should be able to keep your secret weapons off the pitch until you decide to play them and then you've got that one bribe 
um, in your pocket to, to kind of get you out of dodge if you want to use a pump wagon again or you want to keep a flinger on. Um, it gives you a bit of flexibility. Then you've got what I think is probably one of the most interesting builds. We're looking at league, we're not looking at tournaments. But if you guys cast your mind back to Blood Bowl 2016, you'll know that uh, Halflings generally took a really low team value team so they could always take Deep Root. So Deep Root was kind of an honorary team member. With the Snotlings, you can you can reliably get three, four hundred K in petty cash. So you can almost consider the star player as part of your starting roster. And that's what this roster here does. So the Snotly Grack build takes one pump, two trolls, one flinger, one hopper, one stilty, because those positionals are just far too much fun not to take. Three rerolls and eight snotlings, which gives you 415 petty cash. In that, you get one bribe and your riotous rookies to keep your numbers maxed out, and Grack and Crumbleberry. So the reason you want to be thinking about taking Grack and Crumbleberry, in my opinion, is kick teammate, which Grack comes with, um, is now brilliant. So you can throw teammate with your troll, and then you can kick teammate with Grack, and you've got a billion snotlings. Okay, you've got a team that is now 14 players plus two stars. One of them is a stunty, and then another 2d3 plus one um, snotlings on top of that. You've got ammunition after ammunition. So in one turn, and this was Blood Tithes pickup, in one turn, you could throw teammate, you can kick teammate, and you can use the bomber or the fungus flinger. So you can just have a ridiculous turn. So, you know, they've got a cage, you throw a snotling, you kick a snotling, you throw a bomb, and then you still got 11 players on the pitch that can still do things. And um, Crumbleberry actually giving you an extra strength two piece that is stunty is going to feel really good when the rest of your lineup is strength one and Grack being a strength five he's 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 bonehead and he's got loner um but compared to the troll and the pump wagon Grack's going to do you some serious work however he is 250k let's have a look at the other star players you can take so the other star players that the snotlings have available to them at the moment when the blood bowl 2020 rulebook lands you can take the black gobbo you can take glart you can take Grack and crumbleberry Hack Flem, Helmet Wolf, Morgan Thorg for 340, and Varag Ghoul Chewer for 280. Um, so the Black Gobbo does fouling things. You've got loads of snotlings to do that with. Glart Smash Rip, however, is a very strong player. You get your claw access there. Grack does the kicking of the teammate and comes with an extra halfling. Hack Flem is a strength three gutter runner. So if you want to score, Hack Flem could be useful. And as you've seen with the amount of inducement that we are throwing around, it's, these guys are going to get access to Morgan Thorg way, uh, way beyond any other team. Um, and you've got Varag there again if you just want a bit of a bruiser. Personally, I like the Grack and, and Crumbleberry. 250k, you get that kick teammate. It comes with a second player, and it's still a strength 5 piece that's not going away due to secret weapon. So there's a lot you can do with this build. Uh, there's a lot you can do with these different rosters. If you're just going to play Snotlings, then I think the 4 reroll build, this, this one here, uh, is probably the one I would advise for League. Um, the Petty Cash is a bit low, so you might want to drop possibly a Flinger um, to give you 210 Petty Cash. Then you can reliably get one or two bribes, plus your Riotous Rookies. With this roster, you get 4 rerolls, you get a ton of stuff, and you just really get the full Snotling experience. I think the other roster uh, is a bit more competitive. The two pump wagons um, with the one each of the position with 310 petty cash with all the extra bribes. But if you're going to try to win with this team, then you are going to need a couple of models to represent uh, Grack and Crumbleberry, in my opinion, because having that other big guy and all that potential for, for kick teammate, yeah, it's going to be really interesting. And to be playing that at 1 million, so this is the beginning of the league, as you buy, you know, you get D3, well, you basically get 20, 30, 40k per game. You flesh out these positionals real quick, and as long as you manage your team value, um, you can stay in the league. You've got something you want to buy, which is another reroll for this build, another pump wagon. You've got things you want to buy, you've got these little positionals as well, and you will still keep that huge petty cash amount. To keep your star player, your writer's rookie, and a multiple bribes at that point. So the snarling roster is very interesting. 
it's more of an army than a team and you can get some pretty cool special weapons. Um, that basically wraps it up for Snotlings for Blood Bowl 2020. Uh, do listen to the podcast. Uh, ben and I are going to talk about what skills to take, what we kind of think they're going to play like in League. And uh, we're also going to be talking about Blood Bowl 2016 rules for them. So if you are getting a game before the rulebook lands or before your club is using BB2020, worth a listen. But for now, guys, thank you very much for watching and uh, let us know what you think of the rosters and who you want us to do next. We will see you soon.